This is a video by Richmond. Today we're working on a Saturn S series. Uh, what we're doing today is we're checking the windshield wiper motor. Now I've got this request from time to time that um, this person says my windshield wipers don't work. And what's wrong? Is it the motor or is it the switch? So what we're going to do today is we're going to diagnose that problem. First thing we're going to do is remove this piece right here on the base of the windshield. Now if you need to know how to remove that, I have another video called um, How to Lube Squeaky Linkage. Look for that. It'll show you how to remove this piece right here. Plus you have to remove the antenna also. Now the first thing we need to do is to remove the electrical connector from the motor. This is it right down here. There is a tab on the underneath side of the connector. And what you do is use your finger, push down on it, and then you can slide it back. And there it is. Now, what we can do is bring this up so we can work on it. So you can see the little tab right there that you had to push down. Now after we've removed the connector the first thing we're going to do is see if we are getting voltage up here. If you look closely, this yellow wire right here, that is the wire that feeds voltage up to the motor. So, first thing we're going to do is set up our multimeter here. And we're going to get a little probe and probe the connection at the yellow wire right there. Now. We're going to take the ground lead, put that to a ground. Now what I've got here is I've got a wire that's running along the windshield to the inside of the car. There is a good ground inside by the, um, the inside fuse panel. So I'm using that as my ground. So we'll connect a negative lead there. Now we want to take our red positive lead and put that right to our clip. Now take the multimeter, put it to DC voltage number 20. Now the next thing we want to do is turn the key to the accessory or run, not start, accessory or run. And we should see voltage at the meter. Okay, as you can see on this one right here, we have voltage and it's working properly. Now, if you don't see voltage there, we have to go to the next step. Now, inside the car, in the center console area, is the interior fuse panel. This is it right here. Now, what we're looking for is this fuse right up here in the corner. It's a 25 amp and it is the wiper fuse. What you want to do is remove the fuse and check it out. It's probably blown and that's your problem. Now if the fuse looks good, what you want to do is probe the one of the connectors in there with the key in the accessory or run position and check for voltage. Now if you don't have voltage, then you have to look on the back of the fuse panel and see what the problem is and trace it back from there. Now we're going to check the function of the switch. Now keep the ground lead from the meter onto the wire that you had previously. And we're going to start by probing the purple wire right there. 
which will be right here. And we want to take our meter, go down here on the ohm scale, 20k. Now we'll take the red lead and put that to our probe. Now what we're going to do is we're not going to turn the key on, we're going to leave the key off and we're going to move the wiper switch up to the high position all the way up and what you should see on the meter is it should go full continuity about zero zero or zero three or zero one very sensitive on the scale um, that is showing very little resistance that is a direct circuit from the switch to the motor and now that is off now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to check the intermittent and low setting on the switch now the way that works is inside the motor is a microprocessor and what it does is it senses resistance and by the amount of resistance that it senses it determines what to do with the motor so what we'll do is we'll leave this connected and we'll go over to the brown wire right there you can see this is the brown wire and we'll keep our meter on the same scale on the ohms and if we move the switch up into the intermittent setting you'll see a resistance reading now if we move the lever up to the low position you'll see a different resistance reading and of course the microprocessor it takes that information, that resistance information, and then it alters the motor or does to the motor what you want it to do. In this case, it sees 0.33 and it knows that to put the motor into a low position. And there's intermittent and there is off. So let's recap. If the yellow wire is live, well then we're all set. We have voltage to the motor. And if we're seeing resistance at the brown wire or the purple wire, that means the switch is operating properly. And if those two things are correct, well then, there is a good chance that the motor is faulty if it's not working. So that's it for troubleshooting your Saturn S-Series wiper motor and switch.